retro bass and kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance watching me. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today I had a little bit of maintenance to do on the old tracker trailer, so I thought I would turn on the SLR camera and bring you guys along for a little bit of a hopefully successful and easy project. By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from the glory days of bass fishing. Consider subscribing and hit that bell icon, otherwise you won't know when we post a new video like this one. Not too long ago, I was on Ladybird Lake and I had just launched the old retro wagon when I noticed that one of the uh, bumpers, in fact, this one right here, had come clean off and there was nothing but exposed metal sticking out. So I fashioned a two x four to kind of get me through, but it's been gnawing on me a little bit, especially every time I try to film me going in, I kind of look like a bit of a redneck, more so than usual. A few days ago, I went to Cabela's and I got a kit. I'll show you the kit that I got, by the way. Ugh. This is a, a roll-on set that I picked up from Cabela's uh, just down in Buda, and it is really heavy, so I'm gonna put it down. But hopefully this goes on easy. I don't know that it will, but we've got a trip planned this Tuesday, so it's Sunday. I'm trying to get this bad boy done, hopefully like in the next half hour, maybe. Okay, so here's what happened. As you can see right here, um, not exactly a factory standard uh, bumper on here. So yeah, I launched the boat in Lady Bird Lake, and I think I noticed it at the time I launched, but this piece of wood just was gone. I don't know what happened, a screw came loose. Either way, um, pulling the boat back on, especially an aluminum boat, um, was a little bit sketchy with just this spare uh, exposed metal. I was able to get it on okay. I don't think I put a hole in the old tracker, which was a good thing, but I had to figure out something. So I, I put this little piece of two by four on. I didn't have time to carpet it. And before I actually carpeted it, I decided I'm gonna try to upgrade since honestly, I don't love these bumpers anyway. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is somehow remove this whole deal. Uh, hopefully that won't be too hard on either side and then replace it. Um, I'm like not the most handy guy ever, so <sighs> wish me luck. I pick like the worst times to film. It's in Texas, it's 100 degrees and I'm outside. Um, middle of the day but oh well but i've got to go fishing tuesday and i don't want to do this this is kind of embarrassing to be honest with you so hopefully um i can get that fixed so i think the first step is going to be to try to to remove this thing um it's a pretty new boat and hopefully it's not like totally stone rusted together but if it is um this is going to be a very short video <laughs> All right, if the whole thing goes that easy, I'm probably gonna start like a boat maintenance channel because, uh, wow, I am killing this thing. <laughs> How much you wanna bet the real ones are gonna be like the wrong size? So these are gonna come off really easy, and then when it comes time to replace them, that other thing's not gonna fit. And then I'm gonna have no bumpers. That's, that's probably what's gonna happen, Never mind. I don't want this to fall on me. No, I just had a thought. I think I'm going to start filming all of my maintenance projects because that way when they go to the ER, it'll be really easy to tell the doctor what happened because I could just like hit play and, uh, and that'll be perfect. So good little hack for you. If you're accident prone like me, just uh, film yourself before the accident and then you'll know what happened. Yeah, I don't know why I would have wanted to replace that. That looks great, doesn't it? So now the question is, do I take off the other side uh, and risk it, or do I try to put on the new rollers and make sure they fit? Yeah, I'm gonna do the other thing first. <laughs> I guess this was uh, a project in need. One of them already came apart, like, before. <sighs> I was, like, teetering on the edge of disaster, wasn't I? Well, <laughs> there's no going back now. Now that both bumpers are removed, it's time for the, uh, the fun part. I hope it's the fun part, because if it's not... 
So I feel like those things came off a lot easier than these are gonna go on. What do you think? Okay, so it comes with one page of directions. Um, doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. It looks like you've gotta put it, attach it both to the trailer itself and then also attach this roller so it's a two-part deal. Um, I should be able to do that. Okay, so step one is to attach the uh, frame mount to the actual trailer itself. Step two is attach the tomahawk weldment. And then step three is uh, throw away the directions and figure it out yourself. I think I can get through step one. I hope. This doesn't seem too bad so far. One quick observation, this is definitely gonna add a little bit of width to the trailer. So I'm gonna have to rearrange the garage after I put these on. Wasn't uh, planning on that. So here it is, I've got step one done on the first side. I've gotta figure out a better way to do that on the other because that took literally about 25 minutes. It wasn't hard, but screwing those carriage bolts in uh, with that non-slip sinker was a bit of a pain in the butt. Oof. Um, yeah, I gotta figure something out. I just had an idea. I'm gonna attach this part to the top before I put it on, and that should make my job easier. See what I'm saying? So put this on here, connect those guys, and then slide her over the top. Oh. Wish I thought of that before. Well, you know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna do the bottom ones because they were the harder by far to do. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Figured it out. So I'm gonna actually attach the ones that go below first and then slide it up. Because those were, you didn't see it because I was trying to save a little bit of battery life. That literally took half an hour on the other side. Um, okay, I got this thing figured out now. Watch out, son. All right, so now all I gotta do, I've got it lined up like this. I've gotta thread these two carriage bolts down like most of the way. And then I'm gonna take this thing and slide it up underneath and that will literally save me about 20 minutes. So, if this works, huge. This has not been a hard project, but it's been a brutal project, to be honest with you. Um, those carriage bolts took like, it's been 45 minutes, and I'm still working on step one on both left and the right sides. So, um, yeah, I don't know. God. But yeah, I should, I should have definitely live streamed this. That way you guys could correct me in real time um, when I'm doing something wrong or maybe tell me how to speed up because <sighs> the comment section don't help now unfortunately <sighs> On to step two <sighs> The trouble is that now I'm like committed. I, I gotta admit um, If it wasn't for you guys right now, I would 100% not be finished this today uh, It's hot. It's late Everybody's in the pool and I would much rather be sucking on an IPA than doing this, but gotta do it, gotta get her done. So step two, okay. Um, we have to attach this thing, which is called a tomahawk weldment. No idea. Uh, and tomahawk plate uh, to the frame. Okay, so that goes there. All right, so um, little tip here, if you are building uh, <laughs> this sort of thing in Texas, um, make sure you keep your metal out of the sun because about 45 minutes in, it's like smoking. All right. So I don't know where it goes on here. I'm going to put it in semi loose, maybe. Um, two more of these guys. And I don't know, I guess we'll see. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't regretting uh, filming this project right now. I mean, I've truly filmed myself into a corner. Ooh, I should use that. But it's true, I've totally filmed myself into a corner. Uh, I've got to get this done. And, uh, yeah, well. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh, God. Uh, 
I guess the only saving grace of the episode is that I didn't wear like a blue rayon jacket, which I'd be committed to wear for the whole time. But aside from that, just mistakes. Oh God, oh, I wish there was an easier way. There probably is an easier way, I just don't know. This would truly be the worst how-to channel ever. Oh. <laughs> hey Retro, show us how to, no, no, I won't. Heard it said, if you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough. Well, if you're gonna be lazy, you better be smart. I just moved this rig to the shade. I'm gonna try to assemble this here. I'm getting cooked, like just out that way. So I'm gonna let myself cool down, I'm gonna let my camera cool down, and ow, it's metal. I feel like I'm getting close-ish, so I'm just gonna attach this thing together like this, and then walk it out and slide it on, hopefully, um, it works. Step number three, I've got to attach this roller deal to this guy. Um, attach deluxe roller assembly to the tomahawk weldment. Um, that's it. Ah, everything is hot. So I imagine that somehow, ooh, this is gonna be nice. That's actually gonna be much better. Look at that. I, I will say one of the problems with launching this boat, usually solo, is the fact that it's so light, it blows around like crazy. And I think originally what got me in trouble with those bumpers was the fact that I was kind of coming in a little bit uh, hot. And I think I banged one of them one time and bent it and it fell and well, here we are. So these are actually gonna be quite nice. Um, all right, I'm happy. I'm glad we did this. You see, I'm glad you didn't talk me out of it. I was close. I was teetering. I'm like, hey, I, guys, I don't want to do this. And you said, no, you're going to finish this. So, so thank you for that. <laughs> I'm not done yet, though, because there's, there's, there's still plenty of time for me to retro this job. Trust me. Ow. <laughs> there could be an ER visit in my future yet. That's nice though. I'm actually pumped about that. Oh man. I should have done this a long time ago, by the way. Okay, so that washers. Dude, holy cow. Oh, it's totally not gonna fit in the garage now. That is why this is going so well. I thought this was gonna be the hard part. The hard part's gonna be backing it in and, and this. It's gonna be hitting everything. Okay, wow. I'm. I'm shocked. Honestly, I'm shocked this is going as well as it is. Oh, this could be the easiest step so far. I can't believe it. Holy mackerel. Retro building. I know how to build stuff. And I'm going to start a how-to channel. No. No, no, no. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> never, never again. <laughs> In the comment section below, since it's gonna be too late for me to fix this, how close does this thing go? Does it go all the way in? Does it stay out a little bit? It doesn't say. It doesn't say how close it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, does it, do you want it out here or do you want it in there? Huh. Maybe I'll put it right there. I'll give myself like a little wiggle room. Not, not too much. All right, if I tighten these four, um, I think we're done, son. Huh. <laughs> so overall, I thought that went pretty well. I didn't break any electronics, uh, I didn't break any tools, and I did not have to use the first aid kit, which is always a plus when Retro starts doing projects. I like this one. Until next time, keep that tractor on track, and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.